Our bodies are incredible machines. They are constantly working to keep us alive and healthy. One of the most important systems in our body is the immune system. This system protects us from harmful invaders like bacteria, viruses, and parasites. It's a complex network of cells and tissues that work together to fight off infection. White blood cells are key players in this defense force. They are like the soldiers of our immune system, always on the lookout for enemies. These tiny warriors circulate throughout our blood and tissues, ready to attack and destroy anything that doesn't belong. Without white blood cells, we would be extremely vulnerable to infections. They are essential for our survival. Understanding how these cells work gives us a greater appreciation for the amazing complexity of the human body. White blood cells, also known as leukocytes, are produced in our bone marrow. This spongy tissue inside our bones acts like a factory, churning out billions of these cells every day. Once released into the bloodstream, white blood cells travel throughout our body patrolling for any signs of danger. Unlike red blood cells which are responsible for carrying oxygen, white blood cells have a different mission. Their job is to identify and destroy anything that could harm us. They are our body's first responders, rushing to the scene of an infection or injury to neutralize the threat. There are several types of white blood cells, each with its unique way of fighting off invaders. This diversity is crucial because it allows our immune system to respond effectively to a wide range of threats. One of the main types of white blood cells is phagocytes. These cells are like the frontline soldiers of our immune system. They are responsible for engulfing and destroying harmful substances through a process called phagocytosis. Imagine a phagocyte as a microscopic Pac-Man, gobbling up any invaders it encounters. These cells have a remarkable ability to identify foreign substances like bacteria and viruses. Once they encounter a target, they surround it with their cell membrane and engulf it, trapping it inside a compartment called a phagosome. Inside the phagosome, the phagocyte releases powerful enzymes that break down and destroy the invader. This process is essential for preventing the spread of infection throughout the body. Section 4. Lymphocytes, the smart weapons. While phagocytes are the first line of defense, lymphocytes are the special forces of our immune system. These cells are responsible for recognizing and targeting specific threats like viruses and cancer cells. They are involved in a more sophisticated immune response that involves remembering past invaders and mounting targeted attacks. There are two main types of lymphocytes, B cells and T cells. B cells produce antibodies which are specialized proteins that bind to specific invaders, marking them for destruction. Imagine antibodies as tiny wanted posters that alert other immune cells to the presence of a threat. T cells on the other hand, directly attack and destroy infected cells. They are like assassins, seeking out and eliminating cells that have been hijacked by viruses or have become cancerous. Section 5. The Importance of White Blood Cells guardians of health. White blood cells are essential for our survival. Without them, our bodies would be constantly under attack from harmful invaders. They are the unsung heroes of our immune system, working tirelessly to keep us healthy. When our white blood cell count is low, we are more susceptible to infections. This can happen due to certain medical conditions, medications, or treatments like chemotherapy. In such cases, our immune system is weakened, making us vulnerable to even minor infections. Maintaining a healthy lifestyle, including a balanced diet, regular exercise and adequate sleep, can help support our immune system and ensure that our white blood cells are functioning optimally. By taking care of these tiny warriors, we are taking care of our overall health and well-being.